think the issue of immigration is very important. It affects all of us. And uh, it ex affects us in the job market. Uh, they're, they're needed in certain areas very desperately, and yet we deport them. So we have to find a way to incorporate them. My parents both came here from Europe, and they had to be, they were incorporated into the society, and they were very cooperative, and they did it all without any help from anybody. So uh, I think that should work. It has worked in the past, and it should work again. It's not as important to me as other issues. I think getting out of Iraq is more important. Our economy is more important, although I, I'm sure that immigration is important to a lot of people. But to me, that's not the most important thing that we're faced with in 2008. In my book, I think immigration is number one. I think it's, uh, it has to be handled. It, it just has to be taken care of. I would say immigration would be in the top three. Uh, the conflict in Iraq would be up there, and health care would also be. So I would list, me personally, those three things would be in the top. I think there, we have enough laws right now. We don't need new laws, but all we have to do is enforce the laws that we have currently. Uh, and I think there should be a, a lenient period where uh, families that have lived here for a long period of time and have produced and are, are members of the community, uh, some common sense is involved, uh, whether to deport them or give them citizenship. I think most important of all, we all treat everyone as human beings that uh, are entitled to a fair share. In regards to immigration, I think that you should, if you're going to come to this country, you should speak our language and you should obey our rules and uh, come here legally. That's the main point right there. I think we should enforce the laws that we have because most of the people in the United States are immigrants from someplace. They follow the laws in order to become citizens, so it's only fair to keep those laws enforced. I think that if all of the states decide what they would like to do for themselves, we'll have chaos. So I do think that the national society should end up taking the, taking the bold move by the president, followed by whomever wins. I think there should be heavy regulation on it. Other countries do the same thing. They wouldn't allow you to come in and just do whatever you wanted to do. Right now, at this point in the campaign, I think most of the candidates are saying what they think the people want to hear, and it depends on who they're talking to, the type of answer. And I think down the road, maybe by spring or summer of next year, uh, they'll be pinpointed as to exactly what their views are on immigration, and they won't be able to, to switch their answers. I'm a registered Republican, but I'm sorry to say I've been very disappointed with the uh, what the Republicans have done in the last 10 years or so. So I'm going to go for the Democratic nominee, whoever he or she is. Candidates, we've heard from all of them. We read the newspapers and magazines and keep up with the times. But uh, it's getting harder. At the beginning of the campaign, I thought I had my mind made up. And as time goes on, I, I'm getting more confused. I think uh, we're just getting too much information for over too long a period of time. Well, actually, right now, I have not made up my mind as to who I vote for. But it'll be, it'll be, uh, it won't matter whether it's Republican or Democrat. If he fits my package, it goes. I don't think any of them are making a very strong stand on immigration. I think uh, as, as we get closer to the election, they'll be more specific. You know, they've been vacillating. And I think we'll lose some of that, and I'm holding now for that. 